Hi, in this video I want to talk with you about raising your prices. Maybe you've been advised to raise your prices. Maybe you watched my other pricing video about calculating your minimum hourly rate and you realize you need to raise your prices, but you're afraid to do so. And there are a couple of reasons why you might be afraid, and I'm going to, sh I'm going to share those reasons and some solutions with you and hopefully shift your mindset and unblock you uh, so that you can raise your prices, so that you can be financially viable in your business. Okay, so reason number one is that you may uh, have not gotten enough client reviews, client testimonials that, rem that, that show you how valuable your services truly are to your clients and therefore worth raising your prices for. Now, maybe you have gotten client testimonials and client reviews that are raving reviews, but you have forgotten to look at them on a regular basis to raise your, your own realization, your own understanding of the value of your services. I have a place uh, internally, like I have, an, I have a document that I keep where I put all of my uh, client testimonials in that one document so that it's easy for me to go and look at my client testimonials and to remind myself whenever I need to that, wow, I provide a really good service to people and therefore my services are really worth you know, charging whatever price I'm charging for or if I need to raise the price, it's really worth raising. And so if you don't have a document where you can easily uh, open up and keep your client reviews, please start that document today and review it as often as you need to to remind yourself how wonderful and effective your services are. So that's one. Secondly is uh, you may not have done the research to, to look at peers who are charging a similar price as you or more than you uh, you, you have peers who offer similar service to you who charge different rates, right? And some peers charge a lot more than you do. And you need to be doing the research to find out who they are, what they offer, and, what, um, and if they charge a higher rate than you, you might come to realize that, wow, I provide just as good of a service or maybe even better and I can raise my rates to at least their level as well. So you need to do the research and find out what rates your peers are charging and, and look at the different, different tiers because you have, I, I'm pretty sure you have peers who have a similar experience as you, maybe sometimes even less, who are charging more than you do. And so you need to find that out so you can come to realize what the market for your services are, services similar as yours, so you can price yourself more um, uh, fairly to the market, okay? So that you can charge more uh, and knowing that your services are worth it. The third reason why you might be afraid to charge more is because you've been hearing from some prospective clients that, oh, they can't afford your services. When someone says they cannot afford your services, let me help you reframe this. They don't mean, most of the time, they don't actually mean literally they don't have, a, have enough money in the bank to pay for your services. Most of the time, they mean that your services are not a priority for them at this time, even though they have the money, and, uh, or they're not the right ideal client for you. And that's okay. You can still serve them through your content or through uh, uh, referrals that you can send to them or whatever. But I, I should talk about this affording question in another video. But remember that you have many different tiers of prospective clients and some of your prospective clients, you just need to do enough outreach, but some of your prospective clients are going to find your services so worthwhile and the money is not going to be an issue for them because it's so important to them that they were going to, they're going to make it a priority. Maybe they're in the market, they're, they've bought such services before, they know how valuable it is, etc., etc. So, three, again, th those, these are the three reasons. I hope that these are helpful for you to, you might want to watch this video again and unblock yourself from being able to raise your rates and, and to a level where you can be financially viable. As always, I'm open to your questions. I hope that this is helpful for you. And until the next video, I wish you well.